Hi, I'm Rachel, and today we're going to be going over how to do volume by displacement. So we like to use displacement when we're measuring um, a solid object, and we have a beaker of a graduated cylinder. And so this is what you're going to do. First, fill the beaker with a bit of water. So here's the water, and measure the amount you have in the beaker already. Then you're going to drop the object in, so say so you have like a little rock, you drop it in, so it's right here, and the water is going to rise up, right? Because the object is now in the beaker. So now the water rises up to here. And then, so after you've recorded this, you drop it in, and now you record it here, and you measure. Then you're going to subtract the initial amount from the total amount, right? So after um, the water rose, and then subtract it from before the water rose. And that will give you the volume of this little object, whatever it is. It's really cool. Make sure you always do it in units cubed. That's very important because it's volume. So whether that's centimeters cubed or whatever, make sure it's always units cubed. And that's how you find the volume using displacement. I'm Rachel, and thank you for learning with me today.